Vitamin C or ascorbic acid is a water soluble vitamin, which means that uh, we don't need any fat or food to get it absorbed into our body. And also, uh, it means that it's not going to store in our body. So, we have to get it from our food. Um, some of the foods that we can get vitamin C from is uh, citrus fruits, uh, broccoli and tomato. In this video, we're going to talk about the benefits of taking vitamin C as capsule or capsule and the different dosage that is very important uh, for certain uh, reason and uh, to achieve certain uh, treatment or therapeutic effect. Uh, also, we're going to talk about the interactions between vitamin C and different drugs or uh, different foods. Uh, we're going to find out uh, either vitamin C, increased bleeding time, and chances for bruising or decrease it because it's very important for some uh, practitioners such as surgeons or um, practitioners who are actually doing some injections um, or any kind of inserting needles into our skin or into our body. Um, they need to know the chances of bruises. Uh, increased by taking vitamin C beforehand or uh, is actually decreasing the chance of yeah, bruising. You need vitamin C for the growth and repair of tissues in all parts of your body. It helps the body make collagen, an important protein used to make skin, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, and blood vessels. Vitamin C is needed for healing wounds and for repairing and maintaining bones and teeth. It also helps the body absorb iron from non-heme sources. Vitamin C is an antioxidant along with vitamin E, beta-carotene and many other plant-based nutrients. Antioxidants block some of the damage caused by the free radicals, substances that damage DNA. The buildup of the free radicals over time may contribute to the aging process and the development of health conditions such as cancer, heart disease, and arthritis. Signs of vitamin C deficiency include dry and splitting hair, gingivitis, which is inflammation of the gums, and bleeding gums, rough, dry, scaly skin, decreased wound healing rate, easy bruising, nose bleeds, and a decreased ability to ward off infection. A severe form of vitamin C deficiency is known as scurvy. Low levels of vitamin C have been associated with a number of conditions including high blood pressure, gallbladder disease, stroke, some cancers, and atherosclerosis, the buildup of the plaque in blood vessels that can lead to heart attack, and stroke. The benefits of taking vitamin C or having vitamin C in our food are as follows. Boosting immunity, maintaining healthy gums, improving vision for those with uveitis, which is an inflammation of the middle part of the eye, treating allergy-related conditions such as asthma, eczema, and hay fever called allergic rhinitis, Reducing effects of sun exposure, such as sunburn or redness, which is called erythema. Alleviating dry mouth, particularly from antidepressants medication. Healing burns and wounds, decreasing blood sugar in people with diabetes. And some viral conditions, such as COVID-19, flu, and mononucleosis. Since vitamin C is a great antioxidant and increasing the production of elastic fibers and also collagen fibers, uh, which is part of the middle layer and outer layer of our vasculature system, um, as you can see here, uh, it has a protective effect uh, on our vasculature system. So taking a 1000 milligram of vitamin C and more per day 
uh, even up to 4,000 or 5,000 milligram per day is uh, protective um, against the uh, bruises or any kind of uh, vasculature damages during the uh, procedures such as surgery, uh, colonoscopy, or um, any kind of injections or inserting needles into our body. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please share it in your social media and to your friends and families. Until next time, uh, stay happy and healthy. Thanks and have a great day.